Mm-hmm. You've covered the UAAP. You've extensively covered the UAAP for years. Do you have a favorite team? Or fine, give me your top three favorite UAAP teams of all time. Okay, so again, um, I started, I, I just have to say this, huh? I started covering the UAAP in season 7-2. Kasi ayoko naman na may babanggit ako mga teams, top 3, tapos sabihin ng iba, eh bakit? Meron malakas nung season 65, season 68. Guys, hindi pa ako nanunood <laughs> during that time. Okay, so we're starting from season 72. So, I'll give I'll give my top 3, ha? In no particular order. Um, siguro, we start with the season 72 USD Golden Tigers. The first team in the UAP that I saw win a women's volleyball championship. We're talking Angeta Baquero, Rhea De Maculangan, Isa Maizo, uh, Maru Baraticla was there, Dindin Santiago, a young Dindin Santiago was there, and then the coach was Coach Shaq De Los Santos. This team swept the Lady Spikers in the finals. And if I remember right, Coach Ramil was really trying to pull out all the stops. My part pa na pinagsetter niya si Chuck Cruz. But UST still managed to sweep the Lady Spikers in the finals. So they're definitely in my top three. Then wala ka pa sa UAP nung time na to, di ba? Season 72? I think my first season was season 73. Yeah. yeah, season so wala ka pa. But you know of this team. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm an avid fan of all oh, I'm oh. going to watch these players. And sila Ate Cha, before pa, uh, Angeta Baquero, even like older players, sila Maureen Penetrante, Joyce Pa, no, I would watch them. I would watch Ate Gila. Kaya, oh. nun, starstruck pa rin ako. <laughs> Pero ang lakas, di ba, nung season 72 na UST. They're the last UST uh, women's volleyball champion team. So, they're definitely in my top three. Um, another team that I would put on the list, and this is a very tough one, because we know that since seven, since season 72, my two Lady Spikers team na nag three peat. I mean, like my there, there were two three peat eras, so it's hard to choose from those six. But I think I'm gonna have to go with the season 73 DLSU Lady Spikers. Why? Th- Why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alam ko nga, maraming maraming ko kontra sa akin. Uh, I think no, it's plain. I'm sure yeah. like, it's an open, you know, discussion. Yeah. Um, you guys can also let us know, ha, kung ano y- ano sa tingin yung pinakamalakas na teams, mga favorites nyo. But for me, season 73 was the strongest among those teams na nag three peat. Kasi yun yung pinaka veteranong team. Eh. You had a fifth year Jack Alarca. You had a fifth year Steph Mercado. You had a fourth year Chuck Cruz who was the team captain. Abi Maranyo was there. Michelle Gumaba was there. Melissa Goheng was there. And then you had Mika Esperanza who was the rookie of the year. Personally, I think that was Mika Esperanza's best year. The year that she won rookie of the year. So, I think even though she was a rookie setter para sa akin ang hirap eh, ang hirap talunin ng ganun team na you have veterans and loaded with experience like okay you played against this team then like what do you remember from this season 73 team during your rookie year of course i was nervous as hell <laughs> i mean it was my rookie year my first time to be a libero and we were up against like a season team pero ako na yung naalala ko rin nung time na yun was how mika or tawag kasi sa kanya is mock mm. uh how She played so well under pressure. Siyempre, mataas yung expectation sa kanya being the setter on her rookie rookie year, being with veteran players, diba? Laki ng pressure na yun. Kaya, ako humanga ako sa kanya nung time na yun, even more. Kasi nung, actually, grade school, I think was the last time I went up against her. Mm. She was still in La Salle pa, kaya when seeing her in La Salle doing so well, nakaka-ano rin, nakaka-proud kahit kalaban ko siya nung, nung younger years namin. And come to think of it, hindi madaling trabaho yun, ha? Na you're the setter for all of those veterans, di ba? 
And of course, the system of Coach Ramil De Jesus, Coach Noel Orculio, his trusty assistant. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. So yeah, Season 73 DLSU Lady Spikers is part of my top three. How about the last? I think you know this one. It's the team that never lost <laughs> the entire season. Ateneo Lady Eagles Season 77. I mean, Wait, are we the only team that did that? Na as in sweep talaga? Na like zero? In the Final Four era. In, 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 in the Final Four era. Na ano ha? Like when you, when you sweep it, you still have to play in the finals. Because I believe back then, when you sweep the elimination round, that's it. They give you the championship. Oh. But I think you guys were the first team that you sweep the elims and then you have a thrice to beat advantage in the finals but you still swept them just to clarify because for sure there were teams before yeah that. yeah oh. just to be yeah. clear mm. how nice of you to uh you know try to make sure that uh, you respect those who have won in the past of course, of course. and we're here to educate as well mm. thank you for watching volleyball dna Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.